Back with Julie Andrews, a perfect guest for this holiday season and a perfect album for it, too, listening again to The King and I. It's doing well? Very well. It's been uh, uh, the top of the charts on the, what they call the crossover charts on, on Billboard. I'm not quite sure what that means. I just know it's at the top. How long did it take to do? Um, well, to actually get ready for it about three months, but actually to make, it took us about a week. Uh, you know, going but preparation, and you do rehearsals, right? Oh, sure. Yes. Full rehearsals. Yes. Yeah. Uh, about Disney, are you surprised at their re-emergence, for want of a better term? Beauty and the Beast. I'm thrilled. Mermaid. Yeah, yeah. Aladdin. It, yeah. I think it's wonderful. I think, uh, I'm just pleased that things that the fa whole family can go and see are coming back again, because uh, it's so hard if you've got young children to, to find good things to take them to see. And uh, it's wonderful, and they're all so beautifully done, and I, it's what Disney does best. Have you uh, been asked to do any background for cartoons? Uh, I did once when I was very, very, very young, but I'd be happy to. I'd be thrilled to. I, I mean, think. one would think one of these Disney, I guess they're going to do one a year now. I guess they You'd are. would be ideal for one of these roles. Well, they should think about asking you then, Larry. Thank you for the plug. <laughs> Has your voice changed? Oh, a lot. Yeah. It used to be tremendously high and thin and sort of um, white sounding, but as I've gotten older, it's kind of come down and matured a bit and the range has changed. The quality is a bit warmer. I think that sort of slightly white sound is, will always be there though. Yeah. Some people say, Tony Bennett says, that actually if you, if you do it right, you get better. Yeah. Uh, I think I don't sing as well, but I know how to sing. I know more about how to sing these days and, and it, uh, it's such a pleasure these days. One used to do it uh, in a kind of innocent, uh, by rote way, and now I really love it. What was it like being directed by your husband? Wonderful. It's, it's, it's great. Uh, there are slight drawbacks, like, um, uh, I mean, we do talk a kind of shorthand, and I keep, he, he thinks that I understand everything that he's saying, and so he's inclined to sort of concentrate on everybody else but me when we're on the set, and I keep thinking, well, you know, could you just help me a little bit? And he assumes that I must know what he, what he wants. And then if we're doing a love scene or something, and uh, he leans in my ear and says, do you think you could do it a little better? <laughs> it's a little difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever fight? Um, well, we have what I call heated arguments, Larry. I'm, a, I'm, I'm one of those Libra ladies that, that tries desperately not to fight for various reasons. No, but we have. You know, all Libras don't want to fight. Mm, I don't do know you, why. Did you uh, bring your work home with you when you work with him? Um, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. We try not to. Usually at the end of the day, by the time you get home and the children are wanting some time and attention, you, it's easy enough now, to Now, if he's away. directing, he'd have to be there before you in the morning, right? Um, no, quite the reverse. Uh, if he's oh, directing, right. yeah, I have to go into makeup. makeup yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we, the, the myth is that you both have a wonderful time and journey to the studio together and so on. It doesn't happen. How old way. are the children now? Oh, gosh, they're all uh, just about gone from the nest. I okay. Mean. Would you, therefore, now go back? Go back to... On a full-time basis? To films, Broadway? Films, Broadway, you roles. Bet. I'd love to. Yeah. I mean, you look terrific. Uh, you had a wonderful time of life. Would Blake like you to? Uh, yes and no. I think that we are, as I said, planning to do Victor Victoria, which would be really a challenge and very interesting and a lovely piece to do. Um, uh, yeah, I would love to. Yeah. Concerning that, James Woods said on this show that he could make a case that Jim Garner is the most underrated actor of this generation. Mm. Nobody listen when they talk about great actors, mm -hmm. but he's as good as there is. Yeah, I agree with, I agree with him completely. If you watch Jim in um, Victor Victoria, he is, the, he is the glue that holds the whole film together. It's his reactions to us all that makes it work, and he is marvelous. Why, don't you, why do you think actors appreciate it more than the public? Do you think we take them for granted? Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I really don't know because he is superb at what he does and he's a lovely human being too. How do you feel about Hollywood in this stage of your life? I mean, are you glad you live there? Are you firmly into that interest? <clears throat> you ever want to come east? Yes, I want to do all of it. I'm thrilled that I live there. I do fantasize coming to live east. Uh, one of my daughters lives in, uh, in uh, the New York area and I sometimes think, well, it would be nice to have the climates and the seasons again. But you see, I'm terribly blessed and I, I seem to have the best of all worlds because I can travel and I'm free to do that. And are you an American citizen? No, I'm not. I'm still British. Ah, oh, good. Then I can ask you this. <laughs> Why all the fuss about Diana and Charles? Why is that so big, big, Lady Britisher? 
I don't know. Uh, it, I, it's puzzling me too. Uh, I watch it and I'm horrified and appalled. I guess you could call me a, a royalist because I, nobody has yet said uh, how important the royal family is, are, in that they bring in so much money. I mean, every single time royalty goes anywhere or has any kind of a um, opening of parliament or a state visit and, I mean, the, or a wedding or a funeral or whatever, the, the money is just tremendous for Britain. And uh, it seems that the press are out to, to get them, and I, and I don't know why. Why are we so absorbed, do you think, in their happiness or unhappiness? Oh, I guess because it looks like a fairy tale. It's a fantasy, and I guess you sort of half want it to be and you half don't want it to be so that you don't envy. I don't really know, Larry. What's your guess? Um, no, I, I'm an American asking. Cause no, it, but what do you think? It, it's not a curiosity of mine. So yeah. I'm trying to find out why it is yeah. a curiosity. I'm kind of saddened that, that there's so much tearing down rather than, uh, you know, goodwill. And, and uh, maybe it's society's changing and there's a lot more truth. I just wish there were a lot more truth in a lot of other areas. Do you ever get used to living in a fishbowl? I, well, God, I don't live in any kind of a fishbowl compared to, to them. No, but we all know that if, if something happened between you and Blake, yeah. God forbid, oh, that's yeah. a, hey, National Enquirer yeah. front page, and yeah. uh, she's in love with a 12-year-old. <laughs> right? I mean, that's right. what happens. That's right, yeah. And when you, and you've had to have had that in your yes, life. Yes, I have. When you read absurdities or have read absurdities about yourself, how do you deal with that? I used to get very angry, and these days you say, well, I guess there's nothing as old as yesterday's news. And uh, it, it's, it passes so quickly, and it's all just to do with, with um, something to, to stimulate. It's very hard. Who, who's responsible, the press or the public, for buying it? And uh, it's very hard to know where the, where the fault lies. Uh, I don't know. Would you come back to regular television? Um, I think it would depend what it was. Uh, for me, television's always been rather hard. Uh, and I don't know why. Um, hard meaning? Um, well, I think you do probably more hard work for, with less time to do it in and less budget and more people see it on one night than would see a Broadway show in a hundred years. And uh, that's, that's tough. Thanks, Julie. Bye, Larry. Wonderful. Happy Julie holidays Andrews. to you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, everybody. Julie Andrews, The King and I. Fantastic.